Hey guys, welcome to this week's TTM haul. I don't have a cool saying. I don't have a cool uh, name for that or anything yet. So if you if you have one, comment it below. Uh, so last night I posted a TTM set breakdown of a 1991 Upper Deck baseball set. Uh, you know which one you can get for free. This you know which one you have to pay for. How many is it worth getting? It's kind of a different video than I have ever done in the past. And I think you guys will like it. It's a good reference for people who start out as well. Kind of gives you an idea of maybe who to target or what to get, if it's a good idea to get it. So check that out. And I just wanted to let you guys know that exists because I don't know how, if this is going to show up on many algorithms or whatever on everyone's homepage. And we have 28, 28 returns this week. Uh, like this video, comment, subscribe, comment which one is your favorite uh, of the week. And let's get going. I've got a lot of vintage, so again, I've got a little cheat sheets next to me to tell you about them. Uh, we got four of four, eight days out of Conshohocken, <laughs> Pennsylvania. Larry Boa. I sent to him a, uh, maybe a month or two ago. I usually don't send people that fast, but... Uh, I forgot to send him my 87 tops traded, so wanted to get that out of the way. I picked up this as well, 1973 tops, 81 tops, and 84 tops. I saw him at Ryan Sandberg's uh, statue celebration, and I'm like, hey, I'll send him again. I think he's very good. I mean, I got that neat days back, so two of two 36 days. Very happy I got this back, but a little bummed. Billy Bean, the Moneyball guy. <laughs> this is what I'm bummed about. The A sticker I sent him got smudged. And, he, you know, he didn't put it back in the card saver, but whatever. She's not a big deal. But this, I think it's a fingerprint or something. So, very, very glad I got that back, though. Orville, Ohio, 3 of 3, 41 days. We have Mike Birkbeck. We have 89 tops, 88 tops, and 87 tops. Very cool. I think he coaches at one of the Mac baseball schools and uh, colleges. I, f I forget what, what it is. If it's Kent State or Toledo, yeah, somewhere in Ohio. 4471 days out of Phoenix, Arizona. J Bell. Very cool. I got this Bowman. I bought a box of this years and years ago. I kept most of them, I believe. Was that 94 Bowman? 93 Bowman, I'm sorry. Tops Gold. J Bell. 88 tops. And uh, 90 upper deck. Actually, I thought I only got three, but I guess I think this 88 tops kind of got stuck to one of the other cards when I was going through them, so even better. All right, Granby, Texas, three of three, 82 days. We got Burt Hooten. This is kind of those one, those in-betweeners, not exactly super old, but I wrote some stuff down here. He played from 71 to 85. He played for the Cubs, Dodgers, and Rangers. He was an all-star in 81, won the World Series that year, and he was the NL, uh, NLCS MVP in that year as well. And he uh, threw a no-hitter in 1972, and this is a 74 tops, 83 tops, and a 79 tops. It's very cool. Very cool to get another Cub. Uh, as you know, I'm a Cubs fan, so... 22 day or sorry two of two 11 days out of fullerton california okay this is in our first true vintage roger repose he played from 64 to 72 he's 83 years old he played for the yankees a's angels and he played uh from 73 to 77 in over in japan he was a defensive specialist that's basically what he did very good fielding percentage so you have a, 70, a 69 and a 70 tops. So San Rafael, California, two of two, 11 days. John Bocabella, is it Bocabella, Bocabella? 
I don't know. Very Italian name though. We have a 70 tops and a 69 tops. Let's see what we got here. Uh, he played from 63 to 74. He's currently 83 years old. He played for the Cubs, Expos, and Giants. And once uh, Barry Foote was drafted, they traded him to the Giants. And you may see Mr. Foote here in a second. Uh, well, he's in the list somewhere. <laughs> we got to Oxford, Mississippi, 4 of 4, 11 or 18 days. Don Kessinger. This is one of the most prolific guys as far as uh, accolades go. We got a 72 tops. I think this is a 69. I, I always forget what year this is. Is it a 69? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, 78 and 79 tops. So he played from 64 to 79. He's 81 years old. Six-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glove winner, Cubs Hall of Famer. He was the White Sox manager during Disco Demolition Night. He, he was the last player manager in the American League. So very cool. Very cool to come back. Uh, Westfield, Indiana, 3 of 2, 25 days. We have Bernie Allen, 69 tops, 72 tops. And as you can tell, where he went to school, he went to Purdue, so he wrote Boiler Up on the top here. Mr. Allen, he, let's see, let me, where's my cheat? He played from 62 to 73. He's 85 years old. He played for the Twins, Senators, Yanks, and Expos, and he played QB at Purdue. And he beat number 12, North uh, Notre Dame, number 3, Ohio State, number 1, Minnesota in 1960. He faced Fran Tarkenton in the Blue-Gray game that year. So he was a pretty good uh, college quarterback. Uh, Gainesville, Florida, 3 of 2, 8 days. Rick Reichert. And he signed the next card as well. So what year is this again? 66. And a 69. Rick Record, he played from 64 to 74. He's 81 years old. Played for the Angels, Senators, White Sox, uh, Royals. And he was a big-time prospect. He received $200,000 from the Angels in a signing bonus in 1964, which is almost $2 million it would be today. And he was one of the main reasons why the MOB started the draft the next year. And he had uh, some kidney issues, and it derailed his career. So he wasn't a, he wasn't the best player once he got up there because of those things. So Camarillo, California, 29 days, 3 of 3. Ken McMullen, we have a 68 tops, a 73, and a 1970. Ken McMullen. Where's he at? Uh, 62 to 77. He's 82 years old. He played for the Dodgers, Senators, Angels, Dodgers, <laughs> again, A's and Brewers. Uh, World Series winner in 63. And he was on, if you recognize his name, he was on uh, Pete Rose's rookie card. One of those four, four heads. Uh, I forget what year that is. 65, maybe? Six, uh, I forget what year year that Rick, uh, Pete Rose rookie card is. Two of two, eight days, Rapid City, San Diego. Dick Green. Uh, this is a oh, 71, 73, oh my gosh. And a 69. Uh, Dick Green played from 63 to 74. He's 83 years old. He won three World Series with the A's, three straight from 72 to 74. He is on the A's 50th anniversary team. So very cool. Yeah, if if you notice very, very fast returns, chances are it is one of my vintage returns. They I, I can't get them out fast enough. I, you know, I I get out a ton and then the next week I have a lot of returns. Um I kind of wanna maybe a little bit more spread out. Uh five of five, 28 days, but I, I can't complain. I get them back. So Lenore Lenore City, Tennessee, Lee Guterman. We have it 88 tops, 87 tops. We have, what is this, 90? 90, 90, yeah, yeah, 90 upper deck, 93 tops, yeah. 
And um, let me guess, 88. Ah, I got it right for the first time. 88 Fleer. So very happy I got those back. Pacifica, California, three of two, eight days. Uh, this is Jerry Morales. This is a little bit of a different return here. Uh, this is a 70 tops, a 74, 74 tops. And he sent me a card of his son, his minor league card. It's like 90, yeah, 91. This is very cool. Uh, you know, he didn't have to send that to me, so I really, really appreciate that. And uh, to give you more information about Mr. Morales, he uh, played from 67 to 74. He is 80 years old, played for the White Sox and Padres, and after he retired, he was a minor league manager for a while in coach. So, Corona Del Mar, California, two of two, eight days. Very happy I got this back. I saw he had a return, and I sent one out to him the same day. Buck, Bob, or Bob Buck Rogers. I don't know how to... Very cool. I got this uh, 87 tops signed, and this is a 68. And Mr. Rogers played from 61 to 69. He's 85 years old. He spent his whole career with the Angels. And he, then he managed the Brewers, Expos, and Angels anywhere from 1980 through 94. So he does not have a very good success rate, but I saw that he had a return and I wanted to pounce on it. So very, very happy I got, I got him back. Bellevue, Washington, 2 of 2, 51 days ecstatic I got this back John Olrude he only signs two and be, be very prepared to wait so I got the 90 upper deck and 90 down rest it's got a little bit of a scratch on it I'm pretty sure I, that was that way to begin with because this is cut from my childhood didn't have any other Olrudes at the time to send off so I got this from my set and got this and uh from my from my set or from my childhood whatever so very happy, very happy I got this back. Good signer, just takes a while. I've seen, you know, deep into the triple digits days. So for me to only wait 51 days, beyond happy. So Altadena, California, three of three, 93 days. This is this was in my first send off, I believe. My first batch I sent off while doing these TTMs. Jim got. We got an 87 tops traded. You know, I love that. 90 Fleer and 93? 93 upper deck. So very happy I got these back. Yeah, another one, another one of my 87 tops. Slowly making a dent in that. Weatherford, Texas, 5 of 5, 33 days. Ken Schramm. I believe this is 82. 81 Fleer. I'm the worst on Fleers. 88 tops. 87 tops. 85 tops. 84 tops. Very, very happy I got these back. Thank you, Mr. Shrum. Same one, Puerto Rico. It's my first Puerto Rico return. 4 of 4, 11 days. We got Ray Quinones. We got 89 tops. Traded. Yeah, and then a normal 89 tops, 87 tops, and 88 Fleer. I actually wrote him a note using Google Translate in Spanish just because I, I, I just don't know. You know, just in case if he speaks Spanish, I'm sure he knows it. I, you know, so I'm very glad that worked if you read it. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Quinones. Uh, five of five, 18 days out of Smithfield, North Carolina. Here we go. Is Mr. Foot. Barry Foot, 78 tops, 81 Fleer, 81 tops traded, and 81 tops, and 79 tops. So Mr. Foot, he's one, he's another one of those in-betweener guys. He played from 73 to 82. He's 72 years old. Played for the Expos, Phillies, Cubs, and Yankees. Uh, when the Expos got him, they called him the next Johnny Bench. He was supposed to replace Gary Carter, and it really just really never happened. They moved Gary Carter to the outfield at one point as well. But did I just do that? I don't know. But 
Yeah, but he had one of his better career or better seasons when he was with the Cubs. So that's that's very cool to get that back. I'm very happy about this one too. Four four twelve days from Rinfu, Pennsylvania. This is another guy I've already sent to you, but I needed to send this out because I got his brother on a card recently, Rick Ruschel. One of the better TTMers out there. We got 87 tops. This one. I think it's what 77 tops. Is that what? Yeah. I got Paul back oh, like two weeks ago, maybe. And I sent this card to Rick as soon as I opened it, or as soon as I did the video on it. And he got back to me. So, and then I got these two 81, I got 81 tops, and then this 81 tops traded with a total airbrush job all over it <laughs> to get put him in the Yankees outfit. So, I just, I, this is awesome. I got this. Uh, I got this. Uh, this is my first card, multi signed card that's complete. I have the Danny Darwin and Billy Sample card. I think 79 tops. I believe that's what it is. And uh, I need Pat Putnam, but he charges $5. That's not the big deal. It's just that he's very spotty about getting cards back, and I don't want to lose that one in the mail. So I'm going to wait till he gets more returns. Uh, Spokane, Washington, 5 of 5, 17 days. Craig Elo. Very cool. I got a bunch of basketball cards off someone in a, in a lot that I bought in the uh, early 90s. This was in it. And that one as well. So I wanted to get some signs. So I, there are some basketball. I don't only do baseball, by the way. <laughs> I actually sent quite a few football uh, earlier this week, late last week. So, uh, yeah. Some hoops, some Fleer, Skybox kind of goes all over his playing career wanted to get one Atlanta Hawk in there Las Vegas Nevada three of two seven days and we got Gary Nolan he wrote uh, he signed the index card as well 68 tops and 70 73 I should have said it I was right uh, Gary Nolan he played from 67 to 77 he's 76 years old he was an all-star in 72. He won the World Series twice, and he's a Red Hall, Reds Hall of Famer. He played his whole career at the Reds and a little bit at the Angels. He had arm troubles that ended his career uh, after he retired. He was a blackjack dealer at the Golden Nugget Casino, and he was a hotel guest executive for uh, the Mirage. So he's living it up in Vegas. Very cool. One of the better places i assume to retire uh madison alabama three of three 43 days we got the trash pandas manager dan billardello got 87 tops 85 tops and 84 tops very cool to get that back what 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 is it the mobile trash pandas is that what it is it's one of the better minor league names uh team names Houston, Texas, three of three, 88 days. Kind of forget what the, uh, okay, yeah. Like I said, I do I do other sports as well. We got Ray Childress, Hall of Famer. We got, uh, it's 90 tops, is that what this is? I believe it's 90 tops. Uh, Pro set, I like these cards. These like paint, you know, this art cards. And I believe this is his rookie, I could be wrong. Yeah, 86 tops, I believe that might be his rookie. So, yeah, he signs, but be, be very prepared to wait uh, to get to get it back. But to get a Hall of Famer, uh, do free, te you know, free through the mill autographs, you know, that's awesome. Leewood, Kansas, 4 of 4, 28 days. We got Brian McCray. Uh, this is what, 90, 93 upper deck, 92. I just had one, 93 upper deck. Uh, we got 92 tops. Yep, uh, 92 P Opeachy Premier. And this 91 score rookie, who just, it's a little, I don't know if the camera really picks it up, but it's a little yellow. I don't know if that's normal or if somehow it got yellowed in my, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had that growing up. So very happy. I guess he's like part owner in a sports talk radio station down by Kansas City. That's where I sent it to and that's what I read. Elmhurst, Illinois, three of two, 18 days. Another vintage, Al Weiss. Uh, he wrote his number, 69 Mets, world champs. 
and we have a 68 tops and a 66 okay 66 tops uh, mr weiss where did i okay he played from 62 to 71 he's 86 years old played for the white Sox, mets and we're in the world series with the mets in 69 and he's the other guy i got this week that's on the pete rose rookie card so that's where you may have heard his name as well we got one more port lucy florida four of four 18 days randy neiman uh, we got 83 tops another 87 tops it's super smeared but that's all right 81 tops and 81 fleer oh this is no it's not 81 tops traded i've been sending some of those off that i got in a lot so i'm very happy about that i didn't write a blurb about him because anyone who played kind of started in kind of the 80s i didn't do so all right that's it for this week i mean this stack is pretty great um, I sent off quite a bit about uh, last week or so, so I'm expecting probably about the same haul next week. That's usually how it goes, especially when you're sending a lot of vintage guys out. Uh, I have a lot of 90-year-old guys I'm sending off to this week. Uh, I've got about 20 or so that I picked up some late 50s cards of some some uh, gentlemen that are that still sign and all that stuff, so I'm going to get those out. And be prepared for a lot more vintage going forward. Uh, my card shop has a ton, and they're very reasonably priced. So I pick them up. I go in there with a little index card, cheat sheet, and <laughs> just go at it and stand there for like two hours and thumb through cards, which I like. I like. I love doing that. So, and go, uh, yeah, all I gotta say, go back and watch that video, like it, or you know, if you do like it, if you think it's uh, something that you you're into. If, if, if it's helpful, if it's helpful for you at all, I have another set. I have an 87 tops, no, sorry, 87 Donruss set. That I can do the same thing for. And um, I mean, I'm going to be doing it anyway, pretty much. So might as well do something that's informative and to help someone out. So that's it for me. Uh, maybe you'll see the Donruss video this week. If not, I'll see you next Sunday.